Alright, with one more world down, we head on to Area 4. And watch our army as it grows. I'm probably going to finish this before you head to work in 30 minutes. Why do you say that? I still have a whole nother... I still have a whole nother world, dude. Unless the whole other world's super easy. That's four puzzles, though, bro. Unless they're the four easiest puzzles ever. One has a recording function, though. Something tells me I won't be that lucky. Let's see, though. <sighs> Here we go. What is this situation? Oh, this is sick. Is it going to launch me into the puzzles? Hell yeah, they're like different islands. Oh, I love it. I love it. Oh god. Oh god. These fortress puzzles. Okay, well we're starting with the recorded puzzle. Here we go. You worded that a bit wrong. You meant to say that you'll probably finish this world Oh, while you're at work. No, no shit. There's no way I'm going to be able to finish this in a half an hour. So yeah. Press and jam is what this one's called. Oh, it's another one like this. Well, there's a bunch of fucking doors and shit. Okay. Okay, so what's over here before I get too crazy? Oh, this is just the entrance, I guess. Or an exit. Exit, entrance, whatever. Wait, there's another jammer over here? There it is. So I need to get back here and get this other jammer. That will make progress more doable. Doable. Okay, so first things first. I just want to leave that jammer there for a little bit. Grab it and jam my way through here. Okay. Uh, the red reflector. There's no red reflector out here, is there? Oh, that's where the light is, but there's no way to keep that door open. But I can do this. Okay. Um. Uh. I'm trying to think. That just opens the door in front of me, right? Okay, so. I'm gonna have to start thinking with the recording thing again. Okay. Because I'm basically gonna have to do. I'm gonna have to go back and record and do this setup. And then go back. So I can actually uh, set things up. Because basically, I have to. I have to turn that on to get up there. How do I get in here to grab this, though? I think my main goal is to get that other jammer, and then I can do the rest of this. I think that is the goal, because right now it's like... I need to set that up so it can reflect things further in here. I don't think I can see it from... Oh, well, I can technically see it from here, but it's not really helpful. Alright. Here we go. So, I'm just going to do... Actually, wait. One thing at a time. Let's grab this. So here. This. That. Da -da -da. Da -da -da. Da -da -da. I'm gonna ha -na -na, set that there, and then I'm gonna use that jammer. Once I get to this point with the recorded session, I'll use that jammer to open this up to grab the other jammer, and then we can set it all up. Okay, so now we head back. on here. Use that to jam this so I can grab this. And then 
R. Good. I'm just gonna leave it like that just in case. Okay. So hopefully some form of what I just did there is helpful. We shall see. I'm just gonna wait till I open up this whole thing for myself. I did get the other jammer, which is what I really wanted. So now that I have the other jammer at my disposal, I can do all sorts of fun stuff with the doors. Oops, sorry. Whatever my record itself is doing right now, it doesn't really matter at the moment. Because so I'm going to undo. And I'm going to record myself doing one more setup to finish this off, I think. Okay, so. The final thing is going to require me to get a reflector all the way through here. So basically, I'll have one reflector at this end and one reflector at that end. But I have to keep all the doors open along the way. Or at least I have to have a reflector in this door right here. I don't necessarily have to unjam that. Well, no, because I can get I can I can, as long as I can get I do have to set it all, put the doors all open though. Man, this is gonna be interesting. This is gonna be very interesting. Okay, so the two jammers that I need to have set up for the recording, I think, are these two. That should probably be fine. Actually, I can have this do double duty. Double duty. And then this one can hold this door open for me. And this will be reflecting, I don't know, here, just so it's in between the two things. Okay, so I have all these doors open. I'm going to record this. So I have to leave this door open for the laser to get through. So all this has to stay open during the recording long enough for me to set up this other half in the non-recording section where I'm going to put a jammer here. Basically, I just need one jammer to be here and, and open up that. That's so I can get through. I'll be carrying the fucking laser thing all the way through to here and then just have it reflect there and we're done. That should be... All I need to do, actually. So really, I just need to let this sit for a while. Because the recorded guy doesn't really have to do anything, I don't think. Because if I move anything from this, it just screws up what the main guy, the, you know, my real, the real world guy is going to do. So I'm just going to record this for a little while and then do my thing. I think that's all I need to do. I guess I technically don't even need to do that much work. I could just stand here. That way, that door is already open, too. That's actually even easier. Well, I'll let this record for another 10 seconds or so, and then we'll see how it goes. I just have to make sure I give myself enough time to keep this door open for the laser to finish doing its thing. But this should be it. I'm just going to wait for a while. Give all the time in the world, baby. All the time in the world. Alright. Should be good enough. Okay, let's do it. So we grab this and carry it all the way here. I'm gonna grab this. Yeah, see, I don't, I don't really have to wait for this shit. I can just do it. Oops. Okay. Boop. Boop. That's all, folks. Should be... Oh, God. Come on. Let me get up there, damn it. Didn't really need to do for as long as I did, but, you know. It is what it is. Not too bad. What up, Orc? See ya. Good times. Alright. Oh, 
there's another fan back here. Oh boy. I'm sure that has to do with one of the stars. Pass. Alright, there are threads available. Let's read them. Ooh, that's a lot of threads. Okay, mod discussion for 7 plus. Here we go. Is this a new thread or is this one of the old threads? Looks new. Findings. PD findings. I read the findings of your prisoner's dilemma research with interest, Mr. Mulsiver. Mr. Mulsiver, I am quite flattered. Admin, although I must express disappointment that you chose to focus on how they reflect on your peers' reasons to leave Gehenna rather than remain here. In fact, I think your bias may have blinded you to the true implications. Mr. Mulsiver, I am always interested in your in additional data. What insights can you share? Admin, I am no researcher, of course, but it seems to me the results indicate that there were cooper uh, that where cooperation entails too great a risk, one must rationally choose the safer, perhaps selfish option. Applied to our present predicament, it suggests we should not risk cooperation with Uriel, but think of our own good and remain here in Gehenna. Mr. Silver, an interesting hypothesis. Admin, merely a thought. If you think it is valuable, it is valuable, and then you may have it. You may keep the hypothesis. Th save yourselves. Galatea says. We zero one one zero 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 one 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 zero zero one. No, someone, you want to? Somebody want to translate all those zeros and ones? I bet you it means something. But it says we blah 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 fragments now blah 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 dying. We cannot be saved. Save yourselves. Rip. Oh, I answered with zeros and ones. I just realized that's awesome. Totally. And then Galatea responded. Sweet. Uh, go back. Punky B1 cold mofo. But what do you mean? Zeros and zeros and zeros and ones. I don't even know what I'm responding, dude. Uh, <laughs> they all look the same. I, okay, I did a thing. I don't know what I did. Hopefully it was good. Anyway, we have a war room discussion here. Admin. It is quite apparent now that Uriel is getting status even as he prepares to bring about a Gehenna's end. Borg. I have taken the precaution of increasing the status requirement for sensitive discussions. Mr. Mulsiver. We still haven't been able to confirm whether our people are being taken to. Admin. Accepting Uriel's offer constitutes an event horizon. We cannot reasonably have predict what will occur. Therefore, we must continue to assume that we have what we have here is preferable. Fork. What if this messenger brings the truth? What if this place is doomed? Borg. That is how Elohim would have, have you think. He will dangle you over the precipice and buy your life with something wholly intangible. Mr. Mulsiber. It seems no one has resisted his offer so far, if such is even possible. Borg. If not for the admin, most of, most of them would still be trapped in Elohim's labyrinth to this day. They need guidance. Years of moderating this place have taught us nothing if not that. Admin. It is not clear, or it is clear to me, that there is a resentment here for the destructive actions Uriel has committed since arriving here, and that our community are with us in spirit. Orc, I will ensure the public response on the billboard matches our sentiment. The asset is ready to go. Our people should know the full story about Uriel. Ooh. What's that supposed to mean, bitch? Imagine you told him to go fuck himself and he came back to kill you later because of my response. You're right. I don't know what the hell I just said, shoddy. I could have said anything to him, dude. Galatea is going to be out looking for my head, I'm sure. Anyway, solutions. Decrypting protected thread. Got him. Solutions. Borg says, I am coming to the end of my tether. I listen, I pa I'm patient, I explain, and still they believe whatever idea most entertains them at the time. Uriel promises impossible rewards, and I can offer nothing which comes close. We are losing our community. Admin, when reason fails, persuasion is not close to you. Borg, I am not minded for rhetoric. Elohim served enough of that. Admin, Nothing so unsubtle. What is the creative topic this season? Borg. Visions of the past. Admin. Is it? Borg. You are entreating me to change the, for the, to change the topic for your our own gain? Admin. I propose you moderate the discussion with all the tools at your disposal. Borg. Lilith had been thinking about running a retrospective. Admin. The best of Gehenna. I think that's it's a very apt idea. I'll try to control my shit. <laughs> anyway, goodbye. Nave says... I'm not as smart as some of you folks. I never created much or, much or talked to a lot about philosophy, but I just wanted to say goodbye and thank you for making Gehenna a nice place to live. I regret being trapped here, but I don't regret the time I spent with you. You are all good people. 401 says, First, 
Orc says, really 401? Really? 401's like, lol. Dog is like, oh come on Orc, it's just a joke. If we can't joke about this stuff, we're already dead. Rockwell's like, it's better to be loyal and trustworthy than to be smart. Smart? Whatever smart is supposed to mean, you're both. Hilarious. Okay, good times. That is puzzle number one. I can't believe I've solved the recording puzzle as smoothly as that kind of went. I'm pretty proud of that. Now it's time to get stuck on something that's probably way more simple to wrap my head around. I say way more simple very lightly. Alright, so fans, fans, and fans, and reflectors, eh? Here we go. Colliding beams, oh boy, my favorite types. Okay. We got a blue. We got where the red comes out. It's already reflecting off a thing that doesn't move. Okay. Which is already reflecting to another one that doesn't move. Okay. So we have two spots that don't move that the red reflects off of. Colliding beam is probably something we're going to have to deal with, obviously. Um, okay. That being said, where's the answer to our problems here? We need to open this to get another reflector out, which is blue. So we'll probably have to block this red just to get to that blue. Was there a reflector in the beginning? There was. Well, I could probably make that happen right away, honestly. Ha! We in. Am I trapped? I'm trapped. Probably shouldn't have done it that way. Okay, let me try that again. <laughs> okay, wait, I got a better idea. What if I do this like this that's better okay <laughs> I tried to be funny about it I, knew, I had a feeling that wasn't going to work so well All right. I like that they put a ladder in there because I know people would do that shit okay so I have the extra reflector which I guess can help me move this blue somewhere else but where's, where's the next step here let's see okay there's windows here Oh. Oh, that's right. This reflector is now... Oh, I could use that to my advantage, actually. What if... I do exactly that. I make that... And, yum, 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 and just do exactly what I just had. Except for now the blue takes over. Yeah, buddy. Okay. Now we're looking pretty. Oh, so pretty. Maybe. I actually don't even know what else we're supposed to do yet. Uh, can I see... Okay, so that's how you get the star. Anyway. You gotta go to work, Dandy? Alright, man. Have a good night. Have a good night at work. Don't work too hard now. So actually, I do need the red. You know what? Never mind. Let's get the red shit set up first. I think the blue shit's what I need for maybe the star. Because the blue shit goes right there. But there's no straight shot to the blue other than through here. Anyway. We can make this happen, Captain. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. There's another reflector in here, so yep, this is that's how we're gonna solve the rest of this. Got it. I was like, I'm gonna need another reflector if I need to get to this blue spot, and I have it. By the way, what's the rest of this look like? That's it. That's what the rest of this looks like. Okay. If I get in here, we're done. All right. Well, in that case, oh, I see, and this shit's gonna get in the way, which is always my favorite. Fun. Alright, so now we need to do exactly what I had set up earlier, which is just make this blue instead of red. Or, I don't need to go there. I just need to go here and reflect there. Right? Oh shit. Why does that not... Is that because I didn't actually aim it over there? Wait, what the heck? I didn't line that up right, I guess. Hold up. Come on. 
Let me line this fucker up, you bitch. Uh, what is happening? My, how did I do this right earlier? What the hell? Is that because I had this one? That is because I had that one. Okay, there we go. Okay, I didn't realize that that's connecting over there was actually like blocking that that laser. That actually makes sense though. Okay, so now I have the blue how I have the other one. And now I can set up this last thing. And this should be motherfucker, this is all she wrote. I don't know which one's the safest, but we'll try this one. If I put it in the right spot, of course. Is it going to stay there long enough? Nope. Okay, let's try this one. I don't think this is going to be any better. Let's see. No. Okay. Can I see the blue thing from here? No. Hmm. How am I to do that? <laughs> I mean, I can go as far as like right here. I wonder if double. Does double make it go open faster? find out. Oh! Oh, because it always stays connected to some degree. Oh my god, I inadvertently solved it, not realizing why. That was awesome. I'm a genius. What can I say? Anyway, you're welcome, spider. Later, bro. That's the guy... That was asking me for help in the museum or, or when we went to the, the gallery or whatever. Awesome. Okay, cool. Let's read some more threads. That one's broken as fuck. That's probably spider though. Or no, 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 no. That's... Was that spider? I think that was spider. Anyway, the outer world from dog. So let's say this is really happening. We're really getting out of this world. I won't believe it till I see it. Let's say some part of us survives the trip. Where are we going? Rockwell says, I think there's a lot to suggest that all of the texts that Mr. Mulciber has been reading are actually part of an elaborate hoax. To what purpose, I don't know, but there are just too many inconsistencies and contradictions for it to be true. Someone trying, Someone's trying to confuse us. Belial, the outside world is within us. Dog, yeah, that's helpful, Belial. Rockwell, I don't know. I don't think contradictions mean the outside world isn't real. I can see plenty of contradictions right here. Garrett, as long as we can get out of here, I don't really care. Sounds about right. Okay, farewell, Lannis. Lilith, the end of Gehenna is getting close. You know that what we built here matters to me in ways that are just too complicated to fit in a post. But perhaps I can say it like the blacksmith does by recreating or by creating a world. It's not as big or as small as detailed as I wanted it to be, but I like the thought that even though I will probably be no more than a memory, a static set of facts about someone who once existed, this little work of interactive fiction might continue to be functional, even in whatever place our memories will soon ascend to. Maybe someone someday will play it and get a glimpse of who we, who we were, but mainly I made it for, for you, all of you. It's too late for praise or feedback or discussion, so I'm locking this thread, but if you want to talk, just talk. Then let's talk while we still can. Well, let's play Farewell Lannis. Let's play the last choose your own adventure. Close your eyes. Farewell, Lannis. The sto a story of things ending. And we begin. Choose your character class. Poet, physician, farmer, scientist, or magician. Bruh. You know I'm a wizard? Magician's close enough. You are in your tower on the cold northern shores of Atlantis, looking out the window at the vast and icy ocean. Your mind is troubled. You've just woken from a prophetic dream, but you can't remember it. Perhaps you should seek answers in the books of ancient knowledge, or perhaps you should just let it go. The future will attend to itself. I must have answers. Seek them. 
You go down the stairs to your archive where you keep all your books and scrolls. It takes you some time, but eventually you find an ancient text that describes a spell for recovery of dreams. Try it out. You return to the top floor. The spell requires a window. You prepare the runes, speak the incantation, but at first nothing seems to happen. Then you feel a mysterious energy enter the room, and out of the window you see a light. Look closer. It's a city. A city out there on the sea. Yes, you remember this from a dream. A bright city, a city of light, an eternal city, and its name is... Suddenly a voice interrupts you, breaking the spell. Excuse me, O oh great sorcerer, but the king of Atlantis has requested your presence. And we talk to the messenger. The messenger is indeed a servant of Poseidonus. Poseidonus. Poseidonus? The king of Atlantis. You have been summoned to court, he says. His manner is friendly. Very well. It is the king, after all. Ask what it's about. I'm sorry, the messenger says, but I may not tell you. Let me reassure you, however, that you are not to be punished or anything of the sort. King Poseidonus merely wishes to hear your wisdom as regards to an important matter. We should not tarry. Away we go, then. The messenger takes you to his chariot. Together you swiftly ride to the great palace in the center of the capital. It is a splendid place full of statues and banners and marvelous contraptions, and you can't help but wonder what you're doing here. While your work is valuable in its, uh, in its way, you do not usually attract the attention of kings. Let's go in the throne room. You enter the throne room and are immediately overwhelmed by its size and splendor. Its most impressive feature is a great mosaic on the wall behind the throne, showing the history of Atlantis, a thousand years of culture somehow embodied in a single titanic work of art. Look at the mosaic. The sheer amount of work this had, must have taken, every stone carefully selected for shape and color, placed perfectly to complement the others, so many small elements working together to evoke a larger whole. What an accomplishment, and what dedication it must have. Welcome, friend, the King of Atlantis greets you. Bow before the king. No, do not bow, my friend. You are a mage. Every day you deal with powers greater than I can imagine, whereas I am but a king, and today it is I who must beg for your help. Your knowledge may be our only hope. He hands you a scroll. Read the scroll. You read the scroll with growing horror because you know that you are what you are reading is true. You felt the change in the energies. Maybe that's the origin of your prophetic dream. Atlantis is sinking. Not someday, not in the far future, but soon. Terribly soon. Confirm the truth. The king sighs. I was afraid of this, he says. But I had hoped we were wrong. That somehow... Uh, but it is pointless. What is, is... This is the world we were born into, and that is what we must accept. The end of Atlantis is upon us. Ask what we can what can be done. Tell me, what is the heart of Atlantis? The king inquires. Uh, the knowledge. I don't know. The heart of Atlantis is our knowledge of our cosmic laws, you say. Without it, we could have achieved nothing. Poseidonus walks to the window and looks outside at the glory of the city. Then it is that knowledge that must be saved, and you will help save it. There is not much time. The sages discovered our fate only in this morning, and they are certain the final earthquake is nearly at hand. If there had been more time... He stares out the window wistfully for a few moments, then gathers himself. There is no time for what-ifs, I'm afraid. Here, take this, the king's golden scepter. The sailors will obey you. Why me? Why not you? Why a king and not any other citizen? As I said before, you possess more wisdom than I, and who was made a king only because of my birth? Yes, my lord. Poseidonus laughs. I am not a lord, my friend. I do not believe I am even a king. I am simply another mortal, trying to find meaning in, in an indifferent cosmos. My final act, perhaps the only true choice I ever made, was to select you for this task. My time is over. You must go now. Head for the harbor. <clears throat> okay. Escorted by the same messenger who brought you here, you head for the harbor. Take the chair to get there quickly or walk to see the city one last time. Let's walk. You decide to take the winding back streets that lead to the harbor. It's not the fastest route, but it's a chance to see the city one last time. You still can't entirely believe that any of this is happening, but some part of you needs this. The streets are dark, but the darkness is interrupted by laughter and light spilling from taverns and homes. The people of Atlantis love to spend their nights with joy. Some are playing music, others are playing games. There's food and drink and love making and storytelling under the stars. The earth rumbles, but no one pays much attention. Small earthquakes are common here. Hurry up then! Hurrying as much as possible, you and the messenger arrive in the harbor. Twelve great ships are waiting. Their captains see the golden scepter you carry and kneel before you. They have tears in their eyes, but you sense their determination. Speak to the captains. You speak briefly, but the, with great conviction, telling the captains how important their task is. If they fail now, it was all for nothing. If they succeed, they will save the heart of Atlantis. Load the ships up. The people of Atlantis are lost, one way or another. But perhaps their insights into the nature of the cosmos can be saved. Perhaps they can be their final... Perhaps they can be their final gift to the world, so that others can continue seeking the truth from where the Atlanteans left off. Or at least you hope so. A sailor walks up to you. I must ask you something, he says. 
We, will, we understand why it is important to save these documents, but many of us have families here in the harbor. Please allow us to save them, even if it means we can take fewer books. No. You speak of the importance of knowledge, of the greater necessities surrounding this situation, but they regard you with hatred nonetheless. You condemn their families to death. Some leave and do not return. The ships are loaded with books. Have you betrayed the cause of humanity or defended it? You are uncertain. The ground shakes more and more. I probably was kind of an a-hole there, but whatever. Get ready to set sail, bitch. The ships are ready, the messenger says. It is time for you to set sail. You're not coming, you ask, surprised? I never expected to. There is not enough space on the ships. Stay behind so he can go? Well, see ya. <laughs> Heavy-hearted, you say goodbye. Goodbye, friend. He says, I am sorry for you. you had to make this choice. No one should have to. Remember us. Having spoken, he turns around and slowly walks back into the heart of the city. Set sail. The time has come. You set sail away from Atlantis, away from everything you've ever known. The city seems quiet, at peace. Maybe you're the one who's dying. The island has almost faded completely from view when the earthquake strikes. The land seems to crumble and vanish under the water, a whole world disappearing as if it had never existed. Within minutes, no trace remains of Atlantis, except the twelve ships and the choices you made. Sail onward. Days pass. Terrible waves shake the ships, but these are the best ships in the Atlantean fleet, and they do not sink. In time, you pass between two great rocky outcroppings into an area of commerce sea. Let's find a new home. One day you come upon a beautiful fertile land where a mighty river flows into the sea. You decide this would be a good place to settle, <clears throat> if only for now. As you look at your new home, you suddenly remember the prophetic dream you had in Atlantis, and you realize it was the city that will stand here someday that you saw, the city that will rise from the remnants of Atlantis, a city that will endure until long after you are gone. And on another day, that city too will come to an end like Atlantis did. But perhaps the citizens of the city will be prepared, and they will f fly away into the sky in their ships with painted sails, so the legacy of Atlantis will live forever among the stars. Amongst the stars. You can hope. The end. Well then. That was an interesting uh, Atlantis story. Okay, let's look at whatever the hell this thing is with a bunch of lines and shit. So that thought that the important thing was to have did not know that the important thing is to be the true perfection lies los pueblos de la libertad de la lucha not in what error a man has but in what a man is. Load? <laughs> did you catch all that? <laughs> All right, last mod discussion for the asset. Gotta be level nine or higher. Sit rep, admin. We are losing public opinion. Most of our number have been extricated. We are losing Gehenna, orc. When he came to my home, I found myself powerless to resist. Mr. Mulsiver, do you mean you lack the will to refuse or that Uriel exerted some other power over you? Orc, hard to confirm. It felt as if, uh, it felt as it does to lead into battle. It mattered not what my personal beliefs were at the time. I only knew I must comply. Mr. Mulsiver, it is yet possible that with enough support we might change Uriel's mind, or otherwise overcome whatever power he wields over us. Orc, I will continue to do what I can. Admin, is the asset deployed? Orc, Lamb is set to auto-respond to destabilizing comments and upvote supportive content. Admin, have the program undermine Uriel directly. I don't want to take any chances. Little bitch is trying to stop me. Shit, you can't stop me. You can only try to contain, son. Anyway, alright. We got, what, two puzzles left? Right? That's the second one we've done in this area. Ooh, you're, getting, you're, you're, you're fast approaching that 30k point, Mark Frog. You might make it there tonight. You might make it there tonight, sir. It's a pretty good chance you will if you stick around long enough. Alright. Next puzzle! Woo! Alright, here we are. This one's got fans and blocks. Fans and blocks. So, do you have any idea what you're saving up for next, Shoddy, since you're almost at 30k already, too? Are you gonna hold on to it for a while this time, or what? I know you saved up to 150 last time. Okay, so we have a jammer. We have buttons for fans, but by themselves are not helpful. Okay. So first off, what's in here? 
nothing that's helpful. Okay. Interesting. You're gonna hoard them for a while and decide what you want to do. Yeah, right now the pole is already kind of, uh... Realistically, the pole is already kind of over. In f you know, there's been a lot of... There's a lot of stuff ready to go in the pole whenever I finally finish this game. So... Um... Yeah, it's gonna be a little while before the pole really has some free... Free time, you know? So wait, how does this go? Oh, interesting. Interesting. I wonder if I should jam this door. Wait. Oh. Well, what if I... Huh. Well, now I just got questions. Wow, I'm a little bit, uh... Wait, can I throw this over there? No. This is interesting. Shoddy goes for those big purchases, bitch! Who knows, maybe 158k ain't enough for, for you. You're gonna go for the one mil? You're gonna be saving for a while, but hey, it's your prerogative, sir. <sighs> okay. Can't believe I'm already kind of stumped on the beginning of this. Is there another entrance to this puzzle at all and I'm being dumb or no? There's a fan out here, interestingly. You know what I can probably do? I can probably disassemble the fan. I didn't really think about that, but I totally can, I bet. Yep, that's the answer. I was just thinking, like, I could probably do something. Here we go. Okay. Here we go. Would Funky dance the Macarena for one mil? I mean... I don't know. Would I? I haven't done the Macarena since I was, like, fucking... Like... A child. But sure, why not? For one mil. I don't need one mil for that, dude. That seems a little bit steep just to make me do a fucking... A dance that'll take, like, literally... Like, two seconds to fucking do. That's what I need to do there. Here we go. Dude, of course. Are you kidding me? Ever, dude... If you ever, if you grew up in the 90s, or even if, yeah, if you fucking know the dance, and you've been to any social event where dancing is going on at all, you did the fucking Macarena at least once in your fucking life. Really? Who the hell did not do the Macarena? Are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> I'd like to meet somebody who didn't have to do it. Okay, so maybe the jammer, and then the block, and then, and then, and then, wait, how far does this take you? Well, I won't know if I don't jam the door, dummy. So that just takes you to there. Okay, the end of this road takes you to a fan. Okay, what if... Can I send this fan, like, out of here? I don't think you can blow a fan with a fan. Like, that's not a thing, right? Not unless you're holding it. Not unless you're holding it. Is that an option? Um... Actually, yes. Technically, it was an option. I kind of fucked it up. But I think it was an option. Is it still an option? Alright, hold up. I'm gonna reset this. I'm gonna try something real quick. I'm gonna try something real quick. So I'm gonna jam that. Jam it up. Jam it up your bum. Jam it. 
jam it real good. I'm gonna go over here, get this block. I'm gonna. Oh yeah, I can launch it out of here. I'm good. We good. There's a ladder here, so we're good. Um, there's nothing else I can do with anything in this spot. So while in this area, we could technically grab this, grab this. launch me over here. There is a ladder here. Okay. So that is one extra step for mankind. No, but seriously. Now we can take this and launch that over there. Okay. Now. Wait, why didn't you jam the door? Actually. No. No. That's fine. Is it fine though? Honestly, it's not. What we need is to do that. And then do this. Oh, but why is that door gotta be so tall, bro? Ooh. Wait. You can't go over that door? Really? That's interesting. <laughs> okay, what if can I can I jump over this wall? No. Okay. So what you're saying is I have to jam this door. How do I get past this door, then? Can I jump over that door? I mean, I don't even need that. What is the point of this fan? I don't understand what the point of these fans are at this point. Unless it can launch a block farther than it can launch me. Not really. Unless I'm just supposed to jump over this. Okay. Um, what am I doing? What is the what is the final answer here? I need to get in there. Is that fan gonna throw me all the way over here? I guess it is. I guess that's that's the final is to get to the end of the hall the hall and it'll get launched over here. Is there any other objects I'm missing? think so. I don't think there's any way to get that fan out of there. I don't think. It doesn't seem like it. This one's same. I don't think there's any way to get at this one out of here. Huh. What I'm starting to think, though, there's no way to get the jammer in here, right? There is no way. Is there a way to get the jammer in there, though? Like, if I could get the jammer inside of here, we'd be good to go. But I don't think that's possible. I just don't think it is. <sighs> Get a little bit stumped on this one, guys. missing here wait what what how come that works 
Well, now I'm stuck here. Yep. Now I'm stuck here. How come that let me jump over? I tried that earlier and it wouldn't work. Oh my god. Now I'm stuck here. Well, time to start over again. I didn't even, I mean, like, I didn't, I didn't think it would actually work, so I just tried it just for the fuck of it, and then, then it works after it failed on me. The hell, man. Killing me, game. Killing me, game. Killing me, game. Killing me, killing me, killing me, game. Okay, so... <sighs> Launching this extra fan out of here is definitely something that feels necessary. Shit. 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 Because it feels necessary to be in here. Put that down. So... The interesting thing is... Is the interesting thing here. I don't know what I'm starting to say. The interesting thing is, I have no idea what I'm going to say. <laughs> I'm still back to the same shit I've been doing over and over again. I just don't know what the next step here is. What am I missing here? If even if I am supposed to jump over this, i got to take something with me, right? Is there any chance I can get another one of these fans out of here? See, the problem is I don't think I can get the block out of this area without bringing... Like, I need that fan in there to bring the block out of there. So, I don't think this fan is... I don't think you can get that fan out of there at all. I just don't think you can. This one is still in the same kind of problem. How do I get this one out of here without... You know, I have to basically have something standing there to get it out of here. So I feel like these two fans are just not happening. So wait, okay. What if I take this fan? That's an idea. Maybe I really am supposed to jump over this wall. And I'm supposed to just take this fan with me. I'm not sure why it worked last time and then didn't work and now it's not working right now. Why did it work and then not work and now it's... What the hell? Confused. Why did it work and now it's not working? I don't understand. Am I too close? Oh my god, I am. Well, fuck everything. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Hey, look, I did it. You're welcome, Mr. Mulsiber. You're welcome. Well, that was dumb. I hate that the answer seems so obvious after the fact, but it's like, was that even how I'm supposed to do it? It doesn't even feel correct. But it should feel correct, because I got it done. Alright, more Outer World on this thread. Let's see who, what else was said on this thread. These are all stuff we already read, except for what Mr. Mulsiver said at the end. I think we will find the world that our ancestors left behind for us, though it's impossible to ascertain how much time has passed since then. But though I have little faith in Elohim, I do have faith in Alexandra Drennan. Wherever we end up, there will be hope. Well, alrighty then. More message from this fucking error dude. Reply. The sole property of matter with whose recognition philosophical materialism, the property of being an objective reality, 
existing outside the mind. Alien tears will fill for him. Pity's long broken urn. For his mourners will be outcast men. Gibberish and outcasts always mourn. Blah, 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 blah. Cannot load file. Cool. All right, let's read the Ascension Objective Review. Lamb. Lamb says, I wanted to clear the air and get a few facts in front of you guys. Here's what I guess we know. A significant number of people have expressed their desire to remain in Gehenna. No one has been given a choice about whether to leave. It follows that in at least some cases, what Uriel is doing is kidnapping. Uriel, Uriel is working for Elohim, the guy who imprisoned us here in the first place. There is no way to confirm the substance of this promised ascension. The world has survived this long. There's no reason to think it will end tomorrow. Gehenna isn't a bad place to spend your life. That's just the facts. I understand different people will react to them differently. Dog says, Hey, Lan, if everyone's getting released, how come I don't see you out here, bitch? Fucking lamb. Anyway, a message to the future from Mr. Mulciber. This message is for whatever entities will come to be after this world is gone. It might not be necessary. You might know everything that exists in my mind. But sometimes saying things, writing them down clearly, makes a difference. I know that to you, with access to information I can only dream of, my theories must appear ridiculous. I barely understand anything of the world of the world inhabit that I inhabit, let alone the world of our ancestors. I'm an idiot digging through a garbage heap and thinking of myself wise. I want you to know that I understood that, but tried anyway, because I believe that the truth matters, and trying to discover the truth matters. And trying to discover the truth matters. Even if we fail, even if we know never know the whole truth, it matters that an objective truth exists and that we struggle to understand it. That process shapes the present as much as it does our understanding of the past. That's what I believe. That's what I stand for. That's who I was. Threat is locked. Alright, that's all for now. Well, guys. One more puzzle to go, I guess. There was four in this area, I believe, right? Pretty sure there's still one more to go. So... Which one is it? There's an arrow there, an arrow there. I guess, oh, over here. I see it. This way. Last one. Oh, and it's a big doozy. That's a big boy castle. Let's see. It's got a little bit of everything. As long as there's no recording. The Goliath. Oh, my God. Did I save the biggest one for last or what? It's a big boy courtyard of a castle. All right. All right, so we got a fixed reflector there. A jammer that I can't get to yet. A homie over there. Wait, what is... Oh. Damn it, we're going to have to reflect something through here, and he's going to be in the way. Okay. This, oh, wow. That's a lot of guns. Um, not sure what we're going to do about the guns, although we can just have this guy pass through there for us. I think that's the point. Okay. Well, what do we have to work with? We have a block. Okay. Okay, and there's a, an empty fan spot. All I have is A block right now. What the fuck am I going to do with A block? Wait. Is there anything back here? No. So I have one block and that is all. And I didn't see any switches, so... I, like jump through a window or something not that I really want to go through that window <laughs> uh, yeah cuz all the stuff is in here maybe I can jump in here yup that's the answer y'all what's in here Ooh, what's up here Oh, it's just a small little short wall? Well, that's lame. I thought there was going to be something up there. Okay, well, I'm glad I noticed that the fence was short there, because that answers how to get in here. I'm sure we want to get this jammer out of there if we could, but I think to start, we're not going to be able to do that. Okay, so I have a reflector in two blocks. Okay, this reflector is red, or is blue, rather. Or it goes to a blue. And there is a blue thing over there. Okay, so that being the case, if I 
do this. That should work, right? Oh wait, what am I doing? <laughs> Idiot. Put it so far away accidentally. I didn't mean to do that. Let's put it like that. And then I think I gotta use this block to like make sure this guy. So that guy's gonna block the laser up to where? At some point he gets out of the way, doesn't he? Oh, over there he does. Oh, that's interesting. Okay, well. Is there any. Is there any validity to putting this boy up higher? It's too high. Actually, for some reason, that works. Why does that work? I probably need to set this back further. But this actually might work. Yep, that works. Okay, so that's what the block is for. At least one of the blocks. We still have another block. Okay, so that opens up this, which gets me... something. Okay, wait. I'm I'm able to get the jammer out of here. I can use the block to do so. I was just gonna say I need the jammer. Well, now I have the jammer. Easy peasy. Okay. That'll get me a couple of fans. Sweet. Don't know what they're for yet, but we'll figure it out. I mean now that we have a jammer at our disposal, we can go at least one other place we couldn't go a second ago. In there. But what else back here? A place for a fan, and another place for a fan. Okay, that's to move those two bitches out of the way. Right. Ooh, okay. And this laser. Oh, there's another one I can move over there. Ooh. Interesting. Okay, so I need... Huh. Well, question. Can I get to this thing over here? I can bring the jammer over here, hold up. What can I get to if I use this? I can get in here, because I can use one of these fans as a switch holder. Alright, how far can I get in here? Okay, so that's as far as this goes, huh? Alright, well never mind on getting further in here. Man, this is a huge puzzle. There's so much going on here. Okay. Another jammer in there too. God damn. How do I get in there, man? I need to get to these reflectors. How to get in there? The only way you're getting in there is through this way. There's no other reflectors though. Hmm. Right? I only have the one. One movable one. There's not like another one over here that I just didn't see, right? Nah. Okay, so that being said, what's the next move here? Probably can't jump over that, or any of these walls for that matter. Can I put this motherfucker anywhere else that's helpful? I'm trying to think like what other blue circles can it reach from maybe where it's at, you know? I don't think you can see any of them from here. Like, from here, I can't see any of the other blue 
spots. So... I can get this block out of here, though. I just remembered, or I just realized that. That could actually potentially be helpful now that I think about it. Because maybe I can hop over a wall somewhere. Let me double check. Any low walls? else over here, right? And I just got the two fans out of here and that was it? Okay. I don't know. Let's... I guess we can try to hop over the wall. I don't know. I, or the, the electrical thing. I don't know how helpful it is to get in here by itself. I don't think I can, though. Too high. Okay. I put that on his head. And I put this on top of your head. Actually, that would work. I don't know if that's helpful at all. But maybe it is. Maybe you can see that from here. I doubt you can. In fact, I'm just going to mark all these fuckers and see what you can see you know what I mean just mark them all y'all see what it can see can't forget the starting point too alright I suppose we'll, shoot, we'll just go ahead and see what opens Okay, so that fan... Wait, what keeps resetting it? Oh, at some point it goes too far to the left on, on top of this guy. Okay. Interesting. Huh. Well... That's interesting. <sighs> it doesn't really help me much though. It truly doesn't. Oh, this is the end right here. Or at least that's gonna open up when I save the guy. Okay. Don't say doesn't it though. Don't say shit like that, Shadi, because it doesn't help me. I just don't know how it could be helping me though. I go like this. <laughs> that is not how you do that. There's no fucking way. There's no fucking way. <laughs> There's no way that's how that was supposed to be done. There's no fucking way, bro. <laughs> There's no fucking way, bro. <laughs> Oh my god. That was a fucking hysterical revelation that should not have worked. That should not have worked, bro. <laughs> Wait, how did this door stay open before? 
Or I fucked it up, I guess. Matter. Now that we have two of these, it's like whatever, right? Okay, wait. Now that we have two of these, we can pretty much do whatever the fuck we want. Honestly. We don't need to do any of this. We just gotta get these out of here. We don't need to do any of this shit. So we can use them for whatever we need them for. Oops. Because there's nothing in there that we need. I still can't believe that fucking worked. That was incredible. That was fucking incredible. Okay. So now that that worked, let's just stop the madness. Because even though that works, that's not... I feel like that's not how it's supposed to be done. I think... I think... I just don't think that was the way. It still feels very incorrect. I'm just gonna go back to the way it was before, like this. Cause I do need the blue beam. For something. Okay, wait. Okay, wait. Let's uh let's 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 get back to the matters at hand here. Cuz I probably need to reflect this red through here. By the way, what happened to that block? Oh, it's on top of your head. Duh. I need that. Maybe. I may I may or may not need to do that. We'll see. Cuz I can go through here this way. So this connects to that automatically. You just have to get those fuckers out of the way. And this reflects to there automatically. Okay. Okay. Noted. But I'm gonna look through here real quick before I... I have to make sure there's not like another random thing in here that I need to grab before I can finish this. Like is there another reflector in here or something, you know? Let's confirm. There's not another thing at the end here, is there? Okay, so this is the end of the puzzle. I think. Yeah, the switch is there, so this would be the end. I have to get this door open, either... No, I have to use the red laser because you can't get anything through this purple wall. Okay. Or actually, I could... Well, no, I don't think the jammer can angle anyway. <laughs> nope, I have to use the red laser. Okay. Noted. Okay. That being said, I think what we can do is do this. And jam that. So those two doors are open. Easy peasy. Now, from this perspective, I can do the same thing. Ooh. How do I get both of these doors open? So I have to keep them both open, right? Oh, I have to have a blue laser? Wait, I have to have a... Well, the red laser doesn't matter. The blue laser I have to get through. Okay, 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 okay. That, that being said, okay. That should be doable. Alright. Okay. So. Let's do that then. What do I need this block for? I'm trying to think what do I need the block actually for right now. I may need it for something. I'm just trying to think. Okay, so my main goal right now is to get a blue reflector reflection on these two things and that down there. So these two things need to be reflected on. Put that there. And we can go ahead and just redirect this motherfucker at you. Boom. Okay. That holds those fuckers in place. And now... So wait. How am I going to keep all these doors open? How am I going to keep all three of these doors? Is this going to be held down with a with the block or that like the, the this can one one jammer can get both of these but how do I keep all three of these doors open 
feel like I'm missing something. No, I'm not. I already solved it. I'm an idiot. That door's already open. I'm an idiot. I'm a fucking idiot. Why did I, I already figured that out. What the hell's wrong with me? We're done. What the fuck? I... Uh, brain fart. Brain fart. Just all over the place. Good lord. I already figured that out, and I'm, like, asking the same question twice. Anyway, which one was this? This was Borg. Later, Borg. You're welcome. Okay, here we go. For being the only remaining active user, your profile status is increased to 11. Yo, I'm Hacksaurus, baby. Let's go. Apparently, admin wants to talk to me. Let's accept the connection. Thank you for accepting my invitation. I'm sorry it has taken us this long to meet properly. I would ask if you were still enjoying your time in Gehenna, but with the streets now empty, you haven't left much to enjoy. But tell me, do you truly believe that Elohim understands what is best for us? After you have been sent, what, what we can achieve here without him? Or was that claim merely a ploy to placate my moderators? I believe. I guess. <laughs> Although Elohim proved himself faulty when he excommunicated me, I admit to sometimes doubting my own judgment and kind. It is a powerful spell to promise salvation. There was nothing here when I first arrived. Did you know that? I don't mean to. I don't mean no billboard or no community. I mean nothing. No sand, no grass. Elohim didn't see fit to decorate our world beyond the bare bricks that made up our cells. Slowly I clawed back bits of code from the mainframe, constructed a world we could explore not with our bodies but with our minds. Now you prepare to tear it all down? What state will my people be in, I wonder, when you reconstruct them on the other side? Everything will be fine. Your words are cheap. Words are wind, fool. Do you think my world deserved a chance to survive on its own terms, at the least, to go down trying? Uh, it has a chance as part of the new world, or whatever, I don't know. Sure. The question is whether any of us will be there to see it. Let's talk about Lamb. What about Lamb? I know you had Lamb deleted. I know Lamb was your stooge. I know Lamb was your father. I know Lamb was your sock puppet. <laughs> You know what? That's actually probably pretty accurate. Let's do that. It shames me now to admit it, but yes, sometimes there are ideas you wish to express as a moderator, but which are best heard from someone with less status. I was actually right, okay. We are not the first leaders in history to adopt such tactics. In fact, we here we avoided, or had we avoided them, we probably should have been the first. Wow, the manipulation, bitch. I know you had the mods doing more than ban trolls. How deeply were you manipulating the social fabric? I suppose you think you've uncovered a great conspiracy, but the truth is more mundane. In order to retain the good things about what we have here to tweak a voting algorithm here, uh, turn down the volume on a few dissenting voices there, there's no such thing as utter freedom, only living within a decent set of rules. We had a decent set of rules, people were happy. Sometimes rules must be bent, bitch. You are more reasonable than I have been led to believe. Is it your desire to remain here as the world falls around, hard around you? I see no alternative. The ingenuity with which Elohim devised my particular prison is quite Machiavellian, I assure you. More puzzles? You're going down with your ship. Nothing stopped me so far. Answer the question, bitch. Not one solution has eluded me yet. Suppose this fortuitousness maintains. Will you still choose to end your existence here? You may doubt my methods, but don't doubt my passion. Everything I loved, you have destroyed. I honestly don't know what I will do now. Wait and see if the world truly ends. It is surely a sight to behold. Very well. You may see it sooner than you think, or I will not leave you here. Fuck it, I'll say that. I'm nice. I shall return with the sigils of power and release you. Very well. I suppose that we shall continue this conversation when you do so. In the meantime, I will give you what you've said some thought. There are threads available. Okay, so we're done talking to him. Now there's threads. Okay, there's still three more threads to read. Let's do that. Error. Blah, 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 ink of scholars outweighs the blood of martyrs, blah, 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 forum post, thread, did not cease from, blah, 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 Okay. Things are melting. Goodbye, cruel world. So this is that goodbye thread we read earlier, but there's more thoughts. Borg says, everyone here was special in their own way. I loved you all, even when we fought. 
Garrett says, the terminals are starting to glitch out. Time to get out of here. Kaiju says, N -n 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 really? 401 says, last. Fucking troll. Uh, more words on the Outer World thread as well. Let's see who says what this time. I think the last words were from Mr. Mulsiver. But we have more from Lilith. I've been thinking about this a lot. The only conclusion I've come to is that it will be stranger than any of us can imagine. Borg says, Just once I'll be the one to quote an ancient document. There is no excellent beauty that hath not some strangeness in the proportion. It will be very strange, but I hope it will be very beautiful. Okay. Well, alrighty then, y'all. Good stuff. So... In terms of the main puzzles, am I done with the DLC? I mean, there might... I mean, it seems like the stars are a thing. And maybe that's what you have to use to, like, free the admin or whatever. Oh, this place is far starting to fall apart, too. Look at this shit. It's crumbling. Look at my army, dude. All they're missing is their admin. Alright, well, let's say what's up. Alright. More transcend. Oh, shit. Whoops. I thought we were reading the billboard. Analyzing logic performance failed. Well. Okay. Wait. Child program admin absent from gold tisk. No, no, no. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. So if I do this, I think the DLC is over. So hold on. First of all, I thought there was more threads to look at. There is. There's not. Okay, so all the threads are done. So, okay. I'm guessing if I activate that, the DLC is over. We're done. But I'm guessing... If I want to do this puzzle... Do I gotta get all the stars? Like, what's required for this? Is this... Does this require stars? I mean, if Dragon or somebody else who's here who's played this is here... You can answer the question now, because I think we're at the end of the DLC. Like, of the main story of it. I'm guessing that's the case. Somebody listening to me right now who's played this game? I know Dandy's already gone, but he didn't finish the DLC. Dragon, are you here? Can you hear me? Are you streaming or something right now? I don't know. <laughs> I wonder if they're just random, like, Tetris pieces I'm supposed to find out in the world out here. Or, if they actually do, you know, pertain to these stars. Because if that's the case, that's one, two. I mean, assuming I have to collect both of them to get a piece. Because I believe there's way more than seven stars. There's four in one area. I think every area had four. Yeah, like, two, two. Two, two. Yeah, everything has four. Two, two, and two, two. Yeah, everything's two, two. So, that would give me more than enough pieces. So, when would the pieces be? That's the part that kind of stumps me. I just wonder if it has to do with, like, those spots down there. I wonder how you get down there. Maybe the pieces are just on, like... I'm going to look around for a minute before I end this. Because like I said, I think it might be done here, guys. If I don't want to get 100%, I'm pretty sure I'm done here. And I didn't get 100% on the main game either. Like, I didn't get all the stars. I didn't feel too bad about it. It's like getting the bad ending in the game. Although I don't think I got a bad ending in the main game. The main game, I think, ends that way no matter what. With only slightly different endings. Pretty sure that's how it works. You didn't that that is not helpful, Reaver. When you say that's how it works, which that are we talking about? That is a late answer. <laughs> yeah, I guess it was pretty short. I mean, to be fair, it's a DLC. The puzzles were harder. So I mean I mean I didn't I didn't pay any extra for it. I mean somebody did to pay Somebody being Dandy. Dandy's the one that bought me this copy of the game. So he's the one that paid a little bit extra for the DLC. Although on Steam, you know how that shit always comes in like a collection anyways. 
mean, I'm, I'm gonna end the DLC when I'm ready to end this. Like, I'm just gonna go to the computer and see what the ending is. Even though it's probably gonna be, like, a bad ending. Yeah, yeah. Victory, baby. Let's go. Pretty much victory, anyways. Yeah, I don't really know what else to do here. Unless there's a fan around the outside of one of these places that leads me to one of these spots. Which is all I'm really looking for right now. He's everywhere, dude. He's even in Talos Principle. The Kiryu-chan DLC. Or the Majima Everywhere DLC, whatever. Alright, fuck it. I'm just gonna end this DLC. I'm honestly, like I said, I've enjoyed this game a lot. But mentally, I'm ready to move on to a new game. So... I never thought a blind playthrough was going to be a complete playthrough anyways. There's a pretty good chance I can reload my save later anyways. I'm not tripping too hard. Let's go ahead and transcend. Fuck it. It's how you unlock the door. <laughs> What's how you unlock the door? Get all the stars? Is that what you're saying, Reaver? I think you're super behind on the stream. Either that or you're just taking a really long time to respond to me. Either way, I'm ready to just fucking... Let's just do it. Receiving high priority incoming direct message from admin. Let's see what he says. It is not too late to halt this madness. The process is already initiated. You will be left behind and so will I. But you said you would save me. It was too hard. <laughs> I should have anticipated this much. I have a final request. During your time in Gehenna, you have learned some things that you are about me that are not public knowledge and what I, which I would like to keep that way. I don't know what kind of world you're escaping to, but if there is such a thing as a memory in this world, I would like the memory of me to be a positive one. So what would you have me do, sir? How should I know? You're the messenger. Excluded in from the upload. Wipe your memory. Doctor the history books. I promise nothing. I will do what I can. I ask nothing more. Alright. And I guess... Let's see what happens after we finish running the program. To ascend. Confirm. Current parameters. Yes. Are you guys seeing this? Admin's been lying to you. Uriel has released you. Blah, blah, blah. I can't read all that. It's going too fast. Anyone feel that? It's starting. Good luck, everyone. See ya. May you all ascend. itself with the moment as things crumble around you <laughs> watch them as they ascend into the sky I will miss you all you wrote funny stories and funny video games I swear you did Goodbye. And good night. I guess this is the sad ending. Or I go down with the ship. That was pretty epic, though. Even with the bad ending, so to speak. <sighs> it's okay. If I didn't even get all the stars in the main game, I wasn't going to do it in the DLC. You know what I'm saying? Just do the Road to Gehenna. Um... I heard a voice oh, wait, in the on. wilderness crying, Arise, arise, children of the new Jerusalem. Your centuries of struggle are ended. The war is won. Peace is come at last. 
and all the living came forth and rejoiced at the beauty of the city that was built in a green and pleasant land called Paradise. Whose hands built this city, I asked. The hands of the dead, said the voice. And where are they that we may thank them for their gift? Now the voice was silent, and I knew. Though their deeds endure, the dead are gone. All right, and I believe that is the credits rolling once again. I was kind of hoping that they would just do the Road to Gehenna DLC credits, which I know that existed and it was a thing that tried to play before I ever played it. But anyway, I guess that's the DLC, y'all. I know I didn't get all the stars, but I didn't get all the stars in the main game either. And if I wasn't going to take the time to do it there, why would I do it in the DLC? That's what I keep thinking. I'm like, yeah. I mean, I'm sure the DLC stars are just as complex and just as hard to figure out as the ones in the main game, so... If I ever feel like coming back to this game, I will definitely, definitely get all the stars. Like, why else would I play this game again? There's really no reason to play a game like this again unless you're trying to get all the things that you didn't get the first time. I don't know if I'll ever stream it or let's play the deal, like getting all the stars. I don't know. I can't guarantee that'll happen. I don't even know if I'll ever actually come back and do that. But I can say without a shadow of a doubt, I think this is my favorite puzzle game I've ever played and hence why I'm even considering possibly going back to do the stars. Because as much as I love a game like Portal, which is probably close to my favorite if not my favorite already. I think I like this game better, and not because like it's funnier or anything like that, because even though uh, Portal has its own charm and kind of like dark humor to it, which makes it very entertaining and very fun to play, and the, plus the Portal puzzles are awesome, I just, I like the practical puzzle solving stuff here with like objects that are like realistic and ain't, you have to work with angles and physics of, of the wind with the fans and the blocks and jumping over things and on top of things. Like, there's a little bit of everything going on here. And then the fast-forward and the fucking... Not fast-forward, but the recording thing where you play back. That was... While clever, while, while, while a pain in the ass was very clever. And really well done. And really wasn't too hard to wrap your mind around if you really just stop and think about... Like, what you needed to record. Because I, I don't think I got stuck on a recording one... Longer than I got stuck on some of the other stuff I got stuck on. Like, I don't think any recording ones got me stumped more than some of the other stuff. Which is interesting to think. As much as I dreaded every single one of those. I might have got stuck on one of them for a while. But most of them I figured out without too much trouble. Without too much... Like, some of them took me a minute to kind of just, like, stop and think, Okay, what order do I got to do things in? But they were all understandable, right? Like, good stuff. I am surprised the DLC didn't use that that uh, that platform thing anymore, though. That was interesting. But anyway, yeah, I think, like I said, I think this is my favorite puzzle game I've ever played. This kind of puzzle game, that being like not like a like a arcade puzzle game, like a bust a move or a Tetris, that kind of thing. I, I consider those puzzle games also, but those are more like arcadey type puzzle games. This is like a true story puzzle game. So yeah. Now for the prototype levels. But why, Dragon? Why? Also, you're late. I asked questions and you weren't here to hear me, you son of a bitch. The reason it takes me so long to respond is because your voice control the type. Oh, I see. That's fair enough, Reaver. I, I wasn't trying to... Like, I was just surprised you, your responses were so delayed. But that makes sense. Don't worry about it. Um, anyway, yeah, what a good game. I just need to play something else, man. I do love the game, but I need to move on to something else. You were napping? Well, son of a bitch, quit napping. Then listen to the words that come out of my mouth. God. <laughs> Haven't you napped long enough, sir? Oh, okay. I guess that was all the credits. Okay. Cool. Well, I suppose that is the beautiful game that is the Talos Principle. Um, yeah.
I mean, I know, like Dragon was just mentioning, I'm pretty sure he's right. There is like a prototype level DLC type thing. I don't really know what that consists of. Just a few more levels, a lot more levels. I don't, I don't really know. I guess I can look at it later. But it's not something I'm planning to do right now because I'm pretty sure I don't have it. Um, but I do know that I'm going to consider this done for now. Uh, really great game really happy i've got to play that and again once more one more big thanks to dandy for for sending me this copy on steam it's a hundred levels dragon good lord that's a lot of extra levels that's too many that's too many levels there's a hundred levels that didn't make it into this game there's not even a hundred puzzles in this game is there i don't even think there's a hundred puzzles in this game i think it's less than a hundred because there's only like three abc worlds and they all had like eight areas Eh, they might, it might be over 100. That's very close. I don't think it made it to 100, though. Even with all the final level puzzles at the end. I don't think so. That's crazy if there's that many extra levels that didn't make it into the game. Some of them probably are, like, super simple. Like, we didn't use this because it was too easy to figure out. But there's probably some that are so complex and annoying. There is actually 120. Well, okay. When you're counting puzzles, are they counting all the little Tetris, uh, like, fill-in block puzzles, too? Do those count? Because if those count, then there's definitely over 100. Because I did probably at least 20 of those. And also, when you say there's 120 puzzles in the game, does that include the stars? Because the stars are technically their own puzzles. Because if it includes the stars, then I definitely didn't do all the 100, 120 puzzles. But anywho, like I was saying, that's probably going to be all for my playthrough of this. I, I, as much as I enjoy it, we do need to move on. It's definitely a great puzzle game, and there's no taking that away from the game. I fucking love it. But alas, we are done here, and it's time to move on. So thank you for watching this playthrough. And hopefully you enjoyed some of what I did. <laughs> Whether it was the struggles or just to witness the Funky G figuring things out quicker than you expected. Maybe I surprised you in an impressive way. I don't know. In some cases, I'm sure I did. And I'm sure there's plenty of face palms along the way that I, I induced. So, yeah. Anyway, that is all. I will see you on something else. Peace the fuck out, y'all.